Westmead Postnatal Ward consists of 41 beds and cares for over 5,500 women and babies every year. We are committed to providing postnatal information and education for all our families to ensure they feel confident when caring for their baby at home. This video has been devised to assist you when bathing your baby. The bath class shown has been demonstrated one-on-one -on -one only to create this video. However, it is normally performed to a group of parents and support people. The first bath for a well baby is usually on the second day to allow the baby to adapt to life outside the womb. Bath classes are twice a day, 9am and 6.30pm. It is important that you try and attend one of these classes prior to discharge. Before you begin bathing your baby, make sure the room where the baby will be is bathed in, is warm and away from the drafts. Prepare everything you will need for bathing your baby. This may include towels, face washes, baby bath solution, nappies, clothes and a wrap to swaddle baby. When filling the bath, turn the cold water tap on first and add hot water to adjust temperature. Test the temperature of the water with the inside of your wrist. If the water is too hot for you, it will be too hot for baby. Place the baby on the towels which are laid out on the bench next to the bath or in the cot. Undress the baby leaving only the nappy on. Wrap baby securely in a towel, leaving the head exposed. Pick the baby up while supporting baby's head with one hand and placing the remainder of the body under your arm on the same side of your body. Hold baby over the bath. Clean the eyes with the water using a face washer. Wipe the eye from inside out. Rinse the washer and then repeat the same action on the other eye. Sometimes babies get sticky eyes and this can prevent cross-contamination from one eye to the other. Clean the remainder of the face with the face washer, making sure to wipe the outside of the ear and under the chin. Do not put anything inside your baby's ear. Once you have washed the baby's face, you can proceed to wash their hair. Wet the baby's hair with the washer or your hand and apply a small amount of soap-free bath solution to the baby's head. Lather up by rubbing your hand gently and in circular movements over the baby's head. Rinse baby's head with water by using face washers and towel dry baby's head to ensure the baby stays warm. Unwrap baby and remove nappy. If the nappy is soiled, clean baby's bottom first before putting into the bath. Safely hold the baby by placing your forearm across the back of the baby's neck and placing your hand under the armpit around the shoulder. Pour a small amount of the soap-free bathing solution into the bath and mix into the water with your hand. Your baby is well supported and can now be placed into the bath. Ensure you keep baby's head above the water. Most babies will cry when they initially get into the bath, but once they feel the nice warm water, they will become more relaxed. Gently wash the baby's body with a face washer. It is important to wash under the neck as this is where babies become sweaty and milk may accumulate if the baby has vomited. Wash around the umbilical area, in the creases, under the arms, genital area and buttocks. To wash baby's back and bottom, you'll need to change baby's position by turning them onto their tummy. To do this, hold the baby's same arm with your other free hand and transfer baby from one wrist to the other, making sure to keep baby's face above the water level. Turn baby's head slightly to the side so they are not facing into the water. Baby can remain in the bath as long as you are both comfortable and the water temperature remains warm enough for the baby. When you are ready to take baby out of the bath, wrap the baby securely in a towel. Again, your baby may cry when they come out of the bath. Just cuddle your baby to calm them down while in the towel. This may help dry most of their body. Lie baby back down on a blanket or towel on the bench or cot and dry the creases, skin folds under the neck palms of hand, elbow creases, groin, behind knees, ankle creases, toes and genital area. Ensure umbilical cord is dry and check around the cord for any signs of infection, such as redness, swelling and discharge. 
Dress baby. Wrap in a lightweight wrap and place in cot or give to partner to hold or cuddle or this can be a good time to do tummy time with your baby. This is done by placing your dominant hand under the baby's neck and head and placing your free hand on the baby's chest supporting the chin and turning baby over onto their tummy, ensuring the head is to one side. Make sure baby is placed on a soft surface, blanket or towel as the baby will be moving their head up and down and that you are watching the baby at all times during this activity. Once you have finished, clean the bath and bench top with the detergent wipes and water. During the bath class, the midwife will discuss other topics with you, such as signs of a well baby, shaken baby syndrome, SIDS, safe sleeping, community resources, and the baby's blue book. Remember, try not to get stressed or worried about bathing your baby. It is a great time for you and your partner to interact with your baby and have fun doing so.